Iran to reduce commitments to nuclear dealing with U.S. pressure, military move. CNN, Iran is set to announce Wednesday that it will reduce its commitments to the international nuclear pact it signed in 2015 as the U.S. moves the Navy strike crews and B-52 bombers to the region to counter perceived threats from Tehran and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo made a surprise visit to the region. It's a three year to the day after U.S. President Donald Trump announced the U.S. was abandoning the landmark agreement meant to curb Iran's nuclear program. President Hassan Rouhani will relay the decision to the European Union in a letter, while the British, French, German, Russian and Chinese ambassadors will be told in person at the Foreign Ministry, according to Iran's state media Irona. Iran exercised restraint over the past year, but the other parties to the deal failed to adhere to their commitments so that Iran has no other way but to reduce its commitments under the deal. The letter is expected to read, according to Irona, Iran's decision to ease its adherence to the nuclear deal isn't expected to unravel the past anytime soon, according to analysts who said that the remaining parties will likely remain committed to shoring up the agreement. But it's just further strain ties between the U.S. and its European allies and heightened global tensions as Washington moves military firepower into the region and Iran prepares to adjust its approach to the deal. While it remains to be seen how that plays out, the one thing that will certain, said Henry Rome, an analyst at the Eurasia Group, was that after a year of U.S. pressure, Iran was going to respond. The other shoe that was always going to drop is that the Iranians were going to react. Rome said, While Tehran has a range of actions that can take as its sweet disappearance to the deal, Rome and others said they expect Iran to carefully calibrate its course. There are extremely provocative actions they could take, but we think they'll choose something moderate. Rome said, the announcement is expected as the U.S. has ratcheted up tensions by moving a carrier strike crew and B-52 bombers to the Strait of Hormuz after the Pentagon said, specific and credible, intelligence suggested Iranian forces were targeting U.S. troops in Syria, Iraq and Afghanistan. On Tuesday, the Pentagon offered further detail, telling CNN that intelligence suggested Iranian forces were moving short and medium-range ballistic missiles aboard both in the Persian Gulf. The Defense Department is now considering sending additional firepower to the region, including anti-missile defense systems, according to several U.S. officials with knowledge of the situation. As the strike crews seen toward the Middle East, Pompeo cancelled an expected visit to Berlin to meet with Chancellor Angela Merkel to make an unannounced stop in Baghdad. The top U.S. diplomat met with Iraq's Prime Minister, President and other officials in roughly four-hour visit, according to two reports from journalists traveling with him. Speaking to reporters, Pompeo tied his sudden visit to tensions with Iran. You've all seen the report that there has been escalating information that indicates Iran is escalating their activity. He said, I wanted to go to Baghdad to speak with the leadership there, to assure them that we stood ready to continue to ensure that Iraq is a sovereign, independent nation. Pompeo has now left Iraq to fly to London and pick up his previously planned itinerary. Iran's decision to tweet its appearance to the deal comes after a year in which the Trump administration has worked to limit any benefits Tehran might gain from the deal through an increasingly intense, maximum pressure, campaign. Pompeo describes that initiative and its aims in a May 21st speech that laid out 12 ways the U.S. wants to see Iran change and start being a normal country of speech that many saw as a call for regime change in everything but name. Since then, the U.S. has reintroduced all nuclear-related sanctions among the slew of other punitive measures. In the past month, it has moved to cut off Iran's oil revenue, its chief source of foreign income, put curbs on its civilian nuclear work, and designated Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps, the elite military group with deep political and economic influence, as a terrorist entity. Iran will inform European Union foreign policy chief Federica Mogherini who coordinates the joint commission that supervises the monitoring of the implementation of the Iran deal of the legal and technical details of the changes in a letter written by Iran's foreign minister Mohammad Javad Zarif. The text of the letters will be among the confidential documents of the joint commission, but the news about them will be published.
iron and rose, adding that Aeon's specific request is to return to banking and oil trade conditions before U.S. exit from the deal on May 8, 2018. S. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.